Did you just buy a turntable and realize your receiver does not have a phono input? Did you try to hook up your turntable to the aux input instead and not get any sound? If so, don't worry. I'll show you two ways to connect your turntable to your receiver via the aux input right after this. Along with my YouTube channel here, I also write articles on my blog where one of the most searched questions is, how do I connect my turntable or record player to the aux input? A lot of newcomers to vinyl will buy a turntable and get home to realize that their receiver or amplifier doesn't have a phono input. And instead they try to plug their turntable into the auxiliary input on that receiver amplifier and they can't hear any music. The reason you're not hearing any sound is because you need a phono preamp. The job of the phono preamp is to simply amplify the tiny signal coming from the tiny needle on your turntable that's actually making contact with the vinyl record. It needs to amplify that into a loud enough signal for you to actually hear. So in order to actually hear music when you connect your turntable via the aux input, you need a phono preamp. You'll either need to buy an external phono preamp like this one, or there's a chance if you have a more modern turntable that it has a built-in phono preamp that you can use instead. So let me first show you how to connect your turntable using an external phono preamp like this one. And then after that, I'll show you how to look at your turntable to determine if there's already a built-in phono preamp. And if there is, I'll show you how to connect that to your receiver or amplifier as well. So let's talk quickly about external phono preamps next. So as I mentioned before, that little needle on your turntable that is making contact with the vinyl record cannot produce a powerful enough sound to play back music without using a phono preamp. Now you can actually hear a very small sound when you use your turntable, even when it's not plugged up to a receiver. It's just kind of like this like me, 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 real like high pitched, tiny sound. That tiny sound is what an external phono preamp like this needs to amplify. So external phono preamps can range anywhere from $15 to thousands of dollars. If you're new to vinyl, you will most likely not want to invest hundreds or thousands of dollars in a phono preamp just yet. And if that's the case, I'm going to include uh, in the description below a list uh, of affiliate links to phono preamps that range again from $15 up to a couple hundred dollars that you can go through and shop and buy one if interested. So once your phono preamp arrives, you're gonna to need to connect it to your turntable and your receiver. Let me grab the camera and get up close and I'll show you how to make those connections next. Okay, so you'll note that I have everything stacked up here, which is obviously not how you would have this in your system. You would have everything probably side by side and the little phono preamp here would probably be sitting either directly on the table or maybe on top of your amplifier, obviously not on top of your record player where you can't open and close it. But when I tried to shoot this side by side, it was so far out that you couldn't see the uh, inputs down here. So I stacked it all up and got in a little bit closer. So that's what we're working with here. I'm using uh, a vintage Pioneer receiver here. So you'll note over here, it says phono and tuner. Let's just pretend those don't exist for this example, okay? Here are my aux inputs on this. So for this example, we're pretending that we have an amplifier that doesn't have a phono input. So I'm gonna show you how to connect your turntable to the phono preamp and then the phono preamp to the receiver. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the cords, the RCA cables that are coming from your turntable and you're going to locate the input here on your phono preamp. It'll say input, and you're gonna connect the cables appropriately by color. Okay, so you now have your turntable connected to your phono preamp. The next thing you wanna do is connect your phono preamp to the receiver. And you're going to need an extra set of cables when you do this. So when you order a phono preamp, if you order an external one like this, you will probably want to order yourself a set of RCA cables as well. Unless you're like me and you buy them whenever you find them at estate sales or yard sales or, you know, thrift stores. I just always pick them up because you never know when you might need a pair. 
So I note that this is kind of in your way there. So let's move that. So again, we're gonna go from the output. It will say output on your preamp. So let's plug these in. And these cables are now going to go from the output on the preamp into the auxiliary input. Let's see if I can get that right there, which is right here on your receiver. Oh, actually, left. There we go. Right there. I, uh, I know that's picky, but trust me, someone will leave me a comment and tell me I put the wrong cable in there. So may as well get it right. So there you have it. This is how you set it up. Your turntable is now, the easiest way to think about this is that your preamp is now in between your turntable and your amplifier, and that's what's gonna boost the sound. So turntable cords are going into the preamp, and then the uh, uh, output on the preamp is going into your receiver. Now, if your turntable has a ground cable, like this one does, to eliminate buzz and hum, You'll note there is a ground uh, screw here on the amplifier, so you can connect that there to eliminate any uh, uh, humming or buzzing noise. So there you go. That's how you connect these two. Um, now, there's a chance you may not need to buy this external phono preamp, and that would be if your turntable has a built-in phono preamp. I actually have one over there. I'm gonna pull it over here and show you how to figure out if yours has a built-in phono preamp, that way we can eliminate this, and then I'll show you how to connect a turntable with a built-in phono preamp to the auxiliary input on the amplifier. Let's do that next. Okay, now there is a way that you can connect a turntable to a receiver or amplifier with auxiliary input without having to have an external phono preamp, and that is because the turntable itself has a built-in phono preamp. So I wanna show you right here, if you'll note right here. This is what you're looking for. If you turn your unit around and just look for this little switch here, right? This phono input and line input means that this turntable has a built-in phono preamp, which means we can connect it directly to uh, the amplifier over here without having to use an external phono preamp, okay? So let me show you how to do that, just a sec. Okay, so for this example, this turntable was not sitting well uh, if I stack it on this um, amplifier here. So I'm just gonna do this side by side. Again, let's pretend like that this is not phono and tuner. Let's pretend like this isn't here. Just for this example, we're going into this auxiliary. So this is to show you how to hook up uh, or how to connect to your turntable um, using the internal phono preamp to the auxiliary input. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna locate this switch on the rear of the unit. You wanna make sure that this switch is selected to line input. It switches back and forth, it's usually pretty easy. One side will say phono input, one will say line input. We wanna switch it to line input. At that point, we are using the internal phono preamp. And then the connection is really easy. We're just taking a pair of RCA cables like we did in the last video. And we are plugging those into the auxiliary input on the amplifier or receiver, should you have a receiver. So that makes it a lot easier because you don't have to have the box on the middle. Um, most modern turntables, not most, but a lot of modern turntables have this built-in phono preamp. So if you're a beginner and you just bought a brand new one, flip, turn it around, look on the back. If you have this phono input or line input, switch it to line input and connect it that way. If you ever upgrade your receiver or amplifier down the road and it has phono, then you can switch this to phono input and then you would take this out from auxiliary and connect it to phono instead. Because then at that point you're using the internal phono preamp here. But for this example, not to be too repetitive, but Switch this to line input, connect your cables uh, from your turntable to the auxiliary on the turntable. 
As I mentioned earlier in this video, this is a commonly asked question that drives traffic back to an article I wrote on my blog. Therefore, I'm gonna include a link to that article in the description below. So if you'd like to uh, read further information or step-by-step -step guide with photos, you can click that link and it'll take you there and maybe it'll help you also, also help you solve this issue connecting your turntable uh, to the aux input. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting the like button. It simply helps spread the video around to others who may be having uh, this same issue and hopefully help them fix it as well. Uh, I have other videos uh, on my channel as well. Some of them will pop up here. Please click through if, uh, if you're interested in watching those. In the meantime, thanks for watching today.